You've downloaded a value study, you know it's going to be useful for you, but you're not quite sure how to use it. Um, yeah, so I made value study as an app to help myself learn art. And it started off really simple, um, where you could just see the basic values of an image and then select one of the values to highlight it. Um, and over time it's become more popular and has a lot more features in it. So I've just made this video very quickly just to kind of give an idea of how to use the app. The main thing that you need to remember with Value Study is it's a tool and not a teacher. Um, what this means is you can use it however you want. So there's a lot of tools and features that um, will be really applicable to some people and others won't need at all. So what we do is we just go through um, through the tool set and I'll show you what each of them does. Um, worth knowing that Value Study works on iPhone, iPad and Mac OS. Um, Android's not available right now, sorry, but I would like it to be one day. Um, and yeah, so the iPhone version has these little icons um, in the toolbar at the bottom, whereas the iPad um, and the landscape mode on iPhone and of course the, the Mac version has a bit more context about what each button does. It has text alongside, so um, those are a bit easier to understand. So the iPhone is what we're going to focus on right now. The first feature is a nice simple one, just converting between the black and white value study and the original image you uploaded. Um, you can see it's the, the sun icon, um, it's just the toggle colours on and off. Um, and if you are toggling so that you can see the colour, then you see the full image, you don't see any of the um, any of the other tools or features that are being used for the value study, it's just the original. Now we've got flip image, this is what it says on the tin. You flip it horizontally um, and then you can flip it back again. This is just useful for getting a change of perspective when you're looking at an image. Um, some people find this really useful um, to do with their own art or with the um, reference images. Toggle outlines is an interesting feature. Maybe not useful to everyone, but it's a good way of seeing kind of the shapes of, you know, the values of, of the, the light and shade without actually seeing that colour. Um, so you can imagine it a bit like a colouring book where it's all just outlines and you can select the value as, you know, colour and the shape of just the thing you're looking for. Um, this is really useful. People find it useful for things like um, watercolour where you need the correct layer in. Um, and generally it's, it's um, just an interesting way of interrogating your image um, in a different way. This brings us nicely into shape simplification, um, which isn't only for outlines, but they do work really well together. So with the shape simplification, what we do is we just drag the, the toggle. Um, if it's right at the beginning, then you see all the detail in the image. And the further to the right you drag it, the less detail you see, um, to the point where it's just very squiggly line. This is useful because a lot of people uh, for for looking at values will squint and they, they use, your, use their eyes to squint and try to see less of the shape and by using shape simplification here it will do that for us. The eyedropper tool is one of the newer ones. Um, I really like it because it, beforehand you could obviously click on the, the values of the swatches at the bottom but there was no way of clicking on the image to get that value. Um, so now you can. You can just use the eyedropper tool. You click on the eyedropper which is um, very similar to the one in Photoshop um, and then you click where in the image you want to select and it will just select everything in that image that has the same value. So for example, if the, I don't know, say the person's hair and the grass were in the same level of shade and they um, should be the, the same darkness, that might not be obvious to your eyes, but when you, when you use the eyedropper and click on it, it will show them both in your highlighted colour. Um, so yeah, it's quite useful useful little feature that. This brings us on to combine values. Uh, not useful for everyone, but for the people it is useful for, it's really um, a good feature that was um, strongly requested for quite a long time. So what this lets us do is say you've got, you know, three shades in, um, in your midtones, you might want to select all of those. So although you, you want to have that variety in, in the values, 
Um, you don't want to just reduce it, which you can. Obviously, you can reduce down to one, two, three, whatever colors you want. Um, but if you want the the larger number of values, but you want to combine your selected, um, you know, highlighted color across multiple values, you can do that. And they don't even need to be together. Um, obviously, that's most useful for more people. But if you want to select the lightest and darkest color um, at the same time, you can do that if you want. Um, so it's very flexible. Um, and I'm always interested in seeing how these features are used by different people um, and getting feedback. The last thing I want to show in this video is the settings panel. So you can get to this from the home page or you can get to it from the um, top right hand menu on the iPhone and for the larger size devices from the bottom of the, the menu that you see in the sidebar. Um, and this gives you the ability to customize some settings such as the highlight color. So when you select a value, by default it becomes green, but you can choose what selection color you want that to be. And it also lets you change the value selector. So if you prefer you know, starting from one instead of zero, you can change that, or you can go from white to black instead of black to white. And um, of course, there's some links to you know social media and share you know the, the app store link with your friends. And obviously all that kind of stuff is brilliant because the more reviews we get, the more people sharing the app with their art groups and the more people using it, the better. So 